Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Aurora Zoo, and if you watched the last episode with the King Penguins, we're uh, continuing on with our building adventure with the uh, new Aquatic Pack DLC, and uh, this episode we're working on the uh, giant otter habitat. We actually, I was streaming over on my Twitch channel on Tuesday, the day... Uh, the pack came out and we spent like a whole lot of time basically just watching the penguins i think we spent at least half of the stream just watching the penguins because they're so much fun um if you didn't watch the last aurora zoo episode make sure to check it out because uh we take a look at the penguin habitat but about the end of the second half of the stream we started building out this uh, otter habitat and uh, I thought I would actually finish it up for you guys here on YouTube so you get uh, sort of a a first look at the otter habitat and building in Aurora Zoo and I'm using the uh, new faux rocks I mentioned it in the last episode they're my new favorite scenery piece and I am going to spam the hell out of them because they're really really good uh, they're super cool. They look amazing. The details, fantastic. Uh, but I wanted to do another, like, similar into in the King Penguin habitat. I wanted to do, like, a little otter centerpiece here with the statues because they look uh, so good. So there's, there's four different otter statues, and so I just placed them all there. And, uh, yeah, this building, well, not a building yet, but this is going to be an indoor building because, as you guys know, this is an Arctic Zoo, so we can't really have outdoor habitats like you would normally in a zoo. So uh, I think every every habitat so far is indoors except for the penguin habitat. That's the one exception uh, because the other thing we're doing is we're only doing animals that like warm temperatures. Uh, but again, the exception is the penguins because as I mentioned in the last episode, they're my number one wish list animal since Planet Zoo was announced. Uh, so I couldn't I couldn't leave them out of Aurora Zoo. Uh, so they are the one exception. Uh, but the giant otters are, man, they are so much fun. And this habitat was a lot of fun to build. Uh, we're going to be going pretty crazy with like the underwater viewing areas because that's what the whole pack is about. It's about the animals and the fact that you know, there's the brand new uh, deep swimming mechanic that they all have. And, I mean, you, you have to take advantage of it. Uh, so, just doing, as as with the, uh, the penguin habitat, we have an above ground viewing area. As well as a underwater viewing area. So, that's what this spot is. This is the, uh, this is the underwater viewing area, obviously. Because you can see the water right there. Uh, I did want to do some custom flooring here, so I actually used uh, the bamboo roof pieces because uh, the giant otters are actually, they're South and Central America, so that just, you know, using some pieces from the South America pack seemed, uh, seemed kind of fitting. But uh, I decided to go pretty simple with the education boards there. Usually I like to do some sort of like elaborate kind of frame around it, but I figured like the area right here is really detailed so i i decided to go simple with the education boards and i think i think it looks good i think it works um you know like i said with everything else being really detailed just having those kind of hanging on the uh, barrier there i thought looked pretty nice and then here we're just kind of going in and throwing around some of the uh some of the enrichment items and adding some like this is this is like a little hidden cave that's going to act as their uh, shelter back there which we'll see when we get into the real-time gameplay um but one thing i've definitely noticed with this pack is i'm paying a lot more attention to the details underwater because uh you know with the fact that the animals can all swim underwater uh the guests but also us as the players are going to be spending more time like underwater so I've been doing a lot of just like detailing and there's all the new fun like underwater plants so you know we have to take advantage of that while we have it uh, the other new thing that's actually part of the free update 
the 1.4 update is the animal talks feature and uh this habitat is going to be the first uh our first use of the animal talk so when we get into the real-time gameplay uh we'll we'll also take a look at that but um yeah i think that pretty much does it for the time lapse so let's go ahead and jump into the real-time gameplay all right and here we are in our completed giant otter habitat and as you can see uh, i went ahead and finished the building so it's completely indoors now um but i think the habitat turned out really really good it's just i'm super happy with it we also use the new waterfall pieces here and i mean just look at these guys swimming around oh they're so much fun yeah, they look so happy they look so happy just swimming around oh it's a good time we also we have babies the, the baby otters they're they're just they're so adorable aren't they i mean come on come on the otters are just so much fun but yeah we uh the habitat turned out really really fun and like i said here's like their little uh cave area this guy's going there right now um oh you know what i had some bedding there i must have accidentally deleted it but this is like their little cave and this is where they come to uh relax if they want to and then here's just the rest of the habitat um Oh, they're just kind of sleeping sleeping out here. I don't know if that's because I didn't give them a bed here Let me let me put that back I'm honestly not even sure what what happened there. I clearly uh, accidentally deleted it because I Don't know why it's not there. There we go There so now they have some nice bedding um, But it yeah, it it looks really good. I I actually like the building itself because it's very kind of like industrial looking and it to me it feels like a building that could be used for almost anything like say the zoo needed to move the otters somewhere else to another habitat you know they could kind of break down this whole habitat and reuse the building or they could they could design it and uh in, into something else they could put it another animal in here but I just think I just think it's a lot of fun. And if like you're down here, like looking looking in the underwater area. It's just a lot of fun. Or we can we can actually we can just go down here and watch. But just just watching them like swimming around. The same as like the penguins and the seals. It's just watching the animals use the new deep swimming mechanic is so much fun. Uh, Frontier did such a good job. It's just, it's so much fun. It, this is why on our live stream, we literally spent like two hours just watching the penguins swim around. I could do the same thing with the otters. They, they're, they're just a lot of fun. The animation's really good. But, um, yeah, if we, we look at the rest of the habitat, so... You know it's like it's like all the details around like the guest level you know if you're actually down here at the guest level uh, the details are really good and the things you don't really need to see like the the walls they're all uh, they're just kind of plain and everything it's like you don't really pay attention to those you just you pay attention to things like the rocks and the statues here and then all the plants and everything and here is the new uh, animal talks and if we click on it you can actually see uh, it gives you a bunch of new information so you can select the animal just like you would uh, with like the education boards uh, you could select the month that it's gonna start so it's May right now so let's actually set it to June <laughs> and it does that little uh, like hey the the show's gonna start shortly you can also select to have music playing while the uh the uh educator is doing their thing um there's also there's a new staff type there's the educator which we'll see uh they'll come around here 
Uh, but this, I originally, what I was going to do is have the animal talks up here. So it would be like a little raised platform. But then I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to put it down here. And so this is just a little staff area. I mean, I guess I could have removed the elevated bit and just had a just a flat path go all the way across. I don't know, I may change that, but uh, actually I like this little, this sign here, this curved sign, that's part of the uh, aquatic pack, that's new. I just like that, so I don't know, I kept it, but maybe we'll get rid of the elevated paths here and we'll uh, maybe just make it a flat path right there, because that seems like to make the most sense. Um, the status can throw food. This, the educator, if you have it set up close enough and like the barrier is low enough, the educator will actually throw food into the habitat, which will attract the animals over. And uh, there's a bunch of kind of, I don't wanna say they're like secret animations, but there's like new animations with uh, some of the animals well, all the animals in the aquatic pack, but some of the, uh, like, already existing animals, uh, they'll actually, like, come up and, you know, if they're not, like, a shy animal that, like, they don't care about people, uh, they'll actually, they'll come up and, like, they'll investigate and they'll see what's going on. And sometimes there may be, like, a little, uh, little extra animation from the animal as they check out what's going on. So here we see the educators coming up and they're about to give a little spiel to the people watching. We don't have a lot of guests over in this area just yet, but they'll still give their little spiel when it's when it's ready, when it's time. I like I like their I like the purple shirt and I like the new, like little educator uh, logo there. It's a lot of fun. There she's going to start. She got like her little microphone. And I like how her voice actually sounds like it's coming out of the speakers. Look at the little baby. Oh, he looks like he's coming to investigate. Oh, she's just threw, threw some food. Oh yeah, here they come. Snack time. <laughs> and just like that, all the fish is gone. But I think this is just... It's such a cool feature, right? Also, can we check out them playing with the, the bubble enrichment item? He was like just standing on his hind legs. It's so much fun to watch. I love... I, I said it in the last episode and I'll say it again. The uh, This is my new favorite pack. The aquatic pack is my new favorite pack. It's just... It's so good. It's so much fun. And if you haven't picked it up, I can't recommend it enough because it's just, it's fantastic. It's so good. And then if we head outside, so you can see the building here. And I mean, the outside, it's a pretty simple building. You know, it it's intentional. It's meant to be sort of like just a basic industrial building that, uh, could kind of be used for anything if the zoo needed it. Needed it. Uh, we also, I created this like little sign. So we got like new fonts and new uh, animal signs there. So I thought that was fun. So we have it on each side there. Uh, but to keep with like the kind of log cabin vibe of the zoo, did the similar entrance that we do in a lot of the, a uh, lot of our buildings and habitats here. And if you're wondering where we are, so here's, Here's the boomerang. You guys know this all too well. And then over here is the uh, our existing aquatic area. So it's kind of funny that we already had an aquatic area and there's now an aquatic pack. Uh, so we're putting the new animals over here and I actually had to make some more terrain out this way because uh, I realized after building this building is actually taking up a lot of room. So we're gonna have we're gonna have the gray seals probably over here. And then we're gonna have another building for the dwarf caiman as well as an exhibit for the diamondback terrapin. And I was actually thinking because the dwarf caimans are really small, uh, they're very tiny crocodiles if you didn't know. Uh, I was thinking we could do like a dwarf caiman habitat slash exhibit habitat. So we'll have 
we'll have the Diamondback Terrapin and we'll have a couple other exhibits as well because we actually uh, we actually don't have any exhibits well we have in the boomerang we do we have this exhibit uh, but I think that's the only exhibit in the whole zoo so I do want to get more exhibit animals added and I feel like the dwarf came in because they're really small and they don't require a, a large habitat we could kind of all throw the, throw all that in the same building really and then I'll give you guys a quick look at the penguin habitat also because I updated the monorail which you can see it's in testing mode so that's why it's actually running but you guys may recall the monorail track originally just came out here and went up and met right there and I didn't want the, I didn't want it to do that now because it would have just gone right across like in front of the penguin habitat and I just didn't think that would look very good so it kind of comes out this way does a long roundabout curve around the penguin habitat so if you're riding the monorail you actually get a nice nice view of the uh penguins oh my god we have so many babies i think we have more babies now than we do adults we, we have so many look at all the penguins it's awesome if you want to see a more like detailed uh, look at that habitat definitely check out the last episode because uh, it's really good but yeah so this is uh this is where we are this is our giant otter habitat so i hope you guys i hope you guys like it i hope you think it's as cool as i do uh we can also look at it at nighttime because it does have some lighting you know i always like to make sure the interiors of our buildings always look really good. There you go. I think it looks really good. I've got lighting under the water as well. Uh, which also looks good at nighttime. Just makes it very nicely illuminated. The These lights right here are one of my new favorite lights. I'm going to be using these quite a bit. Uh, and pretty much all of my builds moving forward because they're they're really really nice lights. I like them a lot So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you liked uh, The look at the otter habitat because it's just so much fun and you know, like I said the next couple episodes are going to be uh, Focused on the aquatic pack. So we'll be doing like the uh, we'll be doing the gray seals and then like I said obviously the dwarf came in and uh diamondback terrapin habitats so yeah as always be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below i am 8bit josh and thanks for watching see ya